What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got one in a trillion NFL moments. Let's check this out. This is a one in a trillion. Catch. Damn. This is a one in a trillion catch. Well, this is a one in a trillion fan. Look at this, this fucking fan, bro. One in a trillion bro. NFL moments. But first, we got the time a player kind of pants using his opponent's face. A lot of time. Oh yeah. Last year in the playoffs. Crazy. That's great con concentration, bro. Right in the face mask. And then, man, give credit there to Brandon Ayuk just staying with the play. And but sometimes, one in a trillion Oh, my gosh. He ain't got to show that. Time Patrick Mahomes got hit so hard. His helmet, bro. His head. Here it is. On that hit that shit was crazy. It was so cold out there, bro. That, that that shit happened. Comes off the helmet. They almost break his helmet. But this next player's defense was just strange. Keenan Allen. As a Packers player put Keenan Allen on a leash. <laughs> 10, 940 to play. Herbert looking sideline. Allen with the catch. That is Allen crazy, bro. Like whenever <laughs> whenever I see that happen, bro, I just fucking laugh. Cause that shit is too funny. Williams scored a touchdown with only one shoot. Huh? No fucking way, bro. That is crazy, bro. Without his shoot, Chris, what an amazing run. Man, I've never seen anything like that before. And same with his next moment. Cause a player on the Giants once caught an interception off his opponent's foot. Oh, I think I remember this. Throwing it into the hands of Kenny Phillips. Take a look at this. It's off Witten's foot. That is nasty work, bro. And neither did Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Second and five. Uh, look at this, bro. Putting the team on his back like always. Come on. Because nobody but him and Zay Flowers came to play in that game. Game. But sometimes one of the trillion moments don't always come from the damn because a ball boy once had to make an impossible catch. Wait, huh? Lawrence looking to get out of there. On the other Corking side it. The field, okay. Yeah, put him on the team right now, nigga. But Jason Kelsey was Dallas Cowboys can eat him. No, it's not. Game, he was supposed to snap the ball, but instead he just fell asleep. He fell asleep. Oh, this shit. <laughs> and everybody went flying except Kelsey. Yo. Now, sometimes fans have what the one fuck? in a trillion moments. Grown ass oh, man. And wore an outfit so crazy. Yeah, this nigga Chief's a holic, bro. I hope we never see it again. <laughs> what the fuck? She got cheese, bro? Excuse me? A beautiful night in Cincinnati. What the hell? Oh, look. Some one in a trillion moments don't even make sense. Like the time Jonathan Ward caught a pass by using another player's helmet. And the throw oh yeah, I remember this. Broken up at a flat. Like bro, that is a tough like ass catch, gang. Look at this shit. One handed, around. like hand against the side of his helmet. To all players except the gunners. And that's the right call, and it sets up a first down for Arizona. How the hell did he hang on to that? I don't know. And I don't know how this next moment happened either. Because a kicker once had the worst luck ever on a game-winning field goal. For the tie. Dawson leans into it. Does he have enough? <laughs> no good. Dun, dun. Finish. It hit the post. <laughs> rejected by the cross ball. Yeah, it's there. And then rejected. Oh, boom, and then boom. And on to the other side. But this next field goal sounded like a war zone. See, you probably didn't know that the NFL puts <laughs> microphones on the inside of the uprights. And oh, that's why he'd be so loud. History to have hit it dead on. High snap. Oh my gosh, bro. Every time I hear that fucking noise, whenever the ball hits the goalpost, that shit just always so funny to Head me. On. <laughs> Good Lord, it's not like the post broke. And Jimmy oh Graham my gosh, bro that. broke the sound barrier, nigga. By on. Down the this, is this, is this um, before they made the rule that they can't do that anymore? Because the Jimmy Graham doing this? Stuff over the crossbar for the 11th time this year. 
Goes up, twists the goalpost a little bit. Touchdown catch of the year. They're gonna that that shit tilts it, bro. Like, tries an extra point. Damn. You'll never see anything like that again. Because after this, the NFL banned dunking on yep, the goalpost. That, yeah, I figured. I figured that's so that's where that came lame. from. It only happened because of perfect timing. Yeah, it is, nigga, During Chris Carson. Punt, the ball started to bounce toward the end zone. Look at these so try hard ass niggas. Something <laughs> unbelievable to stop. The pages were full of tryhards, gang. Bounces near the 10, chase to the end zone. Oh, Look at this bullshit, bro. And they never touch the end line. That is crazy. One yard line. Look at Rex Burkhead, bro. Rex Burkhead was so well, underrated, not gonna lie to you. Coach makes it a point of emphasis to be great on special teams. They could try that a trillion times and it wouldn't happen again. And the same goes for Kevin Walter, because a touchdown fell right into his hands. In the Wait, huh? Shaw. Under pressure. Throws it almost. In oh! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? There's a little bit of luck involved here because Matt Schaaf threw a football there that could have easily... Nah, that's crazy. Jonathan that Cassini is crazy, bro. Nah, no the concentration on that shit. In his effort to try to grab it, he kept it off the ground. Wow. He wasn't the only one that was gifted a touchdown. Because a Texans player once punched the ball straight into the other team's oh, hands. Oh, yeah. We remember, remember this, bro, but I ain't even gonna lie. I'm tired of seeing this play. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> It's like every other NFL vid I, I react to like this, bro. They got this play in there, bro. So I'm not going to even react to this bullshit. DB should have just picked it off, gang. Like, bro, if you're able to get both your hands on it, intercept it. Oh my NFL moments coming up. Like the time a player accidentally showed it all during a Yo! Browns pulled the most one in a trillion interception ever. And we'll get to that and so much more. But first, we got to talk about our sponsor, Game Okay, bro, nah. But, bro, I don't know what the hell that was, gang. Nigga, nigga, all his damn pants and shit came down. Yo, that bare ass cheek out and shit. Something you've never seen before. Corey White. Let's look at this goofy this ass nigga, Marquette here. King, bro. Totally uncalled for. Come on. He might be the most savage punter ever. But if you think that's crazy, just watch as Marcus <laughs> Peters throws the penalty flag into the stands. Oh yeah, I remember it. Yeah, this nigga Marcus Peters crash out. I have never seen that before. Look at this nigga. Have you? No. I just hope he got to keep it. But I, I don't think he did get to keep it. I think they told him to throw it back or some shit. He should have been able to keep it. Not gonna lie. Rookies in their first experience in the NFL. <laughs> I had to go live, bro. I, I remember we used to do some shit like that at school, bro. We had like the little, I forgot what it was called, but like you have to um flag it up in the air and shit like that, bro. You have to go under it. But that shit used to be fun as hell as a kid. <laughs> See, I was telling you about that maturity and that this confidence, nigga. but he still is a rookie. Now, hopefully he'll come out of that and uh, be able to start <laughs> the game. Of course, it'll be a, a while first because the Eagles will... Get the ball first. They have won the toss. There that is, is funny, bro. Wheaton. That right there, that's beautiful. Well, look, that's the beautiful. Players wish their one in the trillion moments were never caught on camera. Like the time Tommy Kelly was caught with his pants down. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Tommy Kelly. What the fuck? Tommy Kelly. He like. Whoa, nigga! The fuck, the fuck you got going on? <laughs> Don't let Diddy see this. Get that man a towel. Oh anyways, hell nah, Drake bro! Don't let Diddy see that. Injury. See, going into Super Bowl Fifty Eight. I felt so bad for Drake Greenlaw, bro. Was so hyped. He was he was playing good too so far. He felt on top of the world, but right before re-entering the game, towards Achilles, entering on the seven. Drake Greenlaw. After the stop on the punt mm. return, and like you can see that shit pop. Blue tent, oh. it doesn't look pretty. No. And then in the mic'd up, the mic'd up video, bro, you could hear Fred Warner say no. Cause he knew that he knew that shit was serious too, bro. How does that even happened. But look, the way the Bears managed Damn. to lose might be one in a quadrillion. Cause a yeah, this, <laughs> this guy darn him when he traded, huh? You gotta catch that though, bro. Against the Bears, with only five seconds left. I'm catching that in my sleep. Bears had no choice but to throw up a Hail Mary. And just as it looked like the ball was going to fall right into the Bears' hands, Browns pulled off the impossible. End zone, deflected, oh. tipped, and intercepted. Almost caught 
and then a deflection into the hands of DeAnthony Bell. That shit is Darnell crazy, bro. Achingly close to a game winner, and instead the Browns survive. But if anyone knows one in a trillion moments, it's the Panthers, because they once held tryouts for a kicker an hour before a game. See, their main oh, kicker, yeah. Zane Gonzalez, injured himself during warm-up. So the Panthers started holding tryouts for him. He had wide receivers trying to kick the ball, running backs, and even the backup quarterback. This is Carolina. Wait, wh why didn't they have the punter do it? Gonzalez, during pregame warm-ups, he injured his right quad. He is out. So they've got wide receiver Brandon Zilstra who will try to kick off. Oh boy. And this is PJ Walker, who's one of their quarterbacks. And everyone sucks so <laughs> bad, they decided to not kick a single field goal the entire game and lost by 17 points. Damn, Look, bro, that is tough. The Cause they want oh, this iconic the play. Most one in a trillion play ever. So yeah. During a game against the Saints. I remember this. Punt in the ball, and it looked like the ball was going out of bounds. So the Saints just started walking off the field. But then this happened. Barnhart could not pull it up short. Shouldn't that have been a touchback, though? What's going on out here? They down the ball. This, this is going to be a touchdown. That is one of the most unbelievable plays I've ever seen. Yeah, that ended up becoming the longest punt return in NFL history. But look, when I heard about this next NFL moment, I couldn't believe it. Because someone lost their job over a touchdown celebration. See, after Tyreek Hill- Oh Hill's yeah, this was lame as fuck by the NFL. Taking a photographer's phone and taking a selfie with it. Now, this all seemed harmless in the moment, but after the game, it was announced that the NFL fired the photographer, saying he shouldn't have celebrated, and should have acted more professional. Lame, and man. An employee Bruh. of the Dolphins celebrated his team scoring a touchdown. Like for real. Fired for it. But don't worry, Tyreek got his back. Because after the incident, he promised to pay the photographer's salary for the rest of the year. W Tyreek, bro. Let's get to you, man. Like, just hold your head up. Um, you're still young. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Continue to, to uh, do what you love. So, obviously, like, I'm, me, me and him are going to continue to work together. And I told him I was going to cover his salary. I told him I was going to, you know, make sure that I, I, I do what's right and, you know, take care of you. Make sure. W you, um, friend, bro. Out of a job. But look. Our final one in a trillion moment. Tory Smith. Devastating. See, in 2012, Tory Smith was yeah. sleeping in his hotel his brother room died. right before a big game against the Patriots. When at around one in the morning, Tory's phone rang. He answered the call and received the worst news of his entire life. His brother, Tevin, had passed away in a motorcycle accident. Mm -hmm. And Tory didn't waste a breath. He immediately got up and drove an hour back to Baltimore to be with his family. But after spending the entire day with him, at around 2 p.m., Tori decided he wanted to go back to Baltimore and play in his game that was just three hours away from kickoff. After just making it in time, not only did Tori play in the game, he led the team to an incredible comeback, scoring two touchdowns to help win the game. Justin Tucker for the win. Whoa, baby! Just good! And the Patriots are saying no! goes high over the upright and was really close. Well, I'll tell you what, the uprights extend through the heavens. So if you kick it over the top of it, it's good. I want to just thank all y'all for, for y'all support, man. Um, this, this new territory for me, you know, a loss like this, man. And, you know, if it wasn't for y'all, I, I don't think I would've even been, been here today. You know, it's just tough, man. I appreciate all support. Appreciate y'all, love all y'all, coaches, players, everyone, man, and just thank you. Yes. Love you, man. Love you, man. Love you, man. Putting the team on your yeah, back man. after experiencing something that tragic. Yeah, Tory Smith is one in a trillion. Facts. Damn, bro. What a way to end the damn vid, bro. Oh my gosh, man. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what the NFL videos y'all want me to react to and shit like that. Without further ado. I'm out. Yeah.